When it comes to a survival or a apocalyptic scenario, the most important thing is to being prepared. Welcome to the post-apocalyptic garage. Today I'm gonna show you why I always have some grave lights in stock. Besides food, water, tools and weapons, there are some small things that are really important to have in stock. One example are these cheap oil lamps, they are used mainly in graveyards. And they provide you with two of the most important things when it comes to a survival scenario. An easy way to make fire and they keep you dry. For making some fire starters you can use a bit of fabric like this one or a piece of cotton. The big advantage of these fire starters now is once they are dry, they are really water repellent and burn for a long time when ignited. Thanks to our homemade fire starters, you don't need such a fine tinder to get your fire starting. And to prove that it's really good water repellent, we just take this bucket of snow here and put it in there. You see it's very snowy right now. Just shake it off. And now let's try to light it. This thing now will burn a really, really long time. With the cotton, when the wax has solidified, you can make such little balls out of it. And the advantage on these balls is that they can get really, really wet. You see, totally submerged in tap water. When you want to ignite them, just wipe them off a little bit, so that they are as dry as possible and fluff them up really good. And now you can use it in the same way to start your fire. Another useful property of this kind of wax is uh, that you can use them to produce your own shotgun wax slugs. The problem with uh, the most shotgun ammunition is that the really cheap stuff is just birdshot. And Birdshot has one big problem, it shatters over a big huge area. So right now we shoot with a number 7 Birdshot. So as you can see, even at this relatively close distance of about 15 meters, now the single projectile has pierced this piece of very thin sheet metal and it has spread out over a huge area. When you cut open a shotgun shell like this uh, for the wax slug, it's really important to look that uh, the body stays in the shell. What's also really important is to give the little um, lead beads a little bit of a time to warm up with the wax so the wax don't solidify too early. You should also warm up every tool like this little spoon here that you are using.
So now that the wax lock has uh, cured, it's important to wipe off any overspill. And at this point I have to mention if you use any kind of automatic or repeating shotgun, it can be a problem with uh, little beads, little BBs falling out and jamming your system. So for home defense scenarios or a scenario where lives matter, it's maybe not a good idea to use such kind of slugs. So right now we're trying the wax lug. Let's see the difference. Wow! I think it works. So, I think the experiment was a success. Pretty nice hole in there. Right now my boots are also not really waterproof anymore because the fabric part lets a lot of moist through and especially in the snowy conditions like now it's a real pain in the butt when you have wet feet. So you can use the wax also to waterproof your shoes and the hot wax will soak in, in the fabric and the wax on the outside will wear away over time but the wax in the fabric will stay and so you have a really good waterproof and water repellent shoe. Now you see like the fabric soaks in the wax and this overflow will wear away over time but I think this will work really good and I will try it out tomorrow and I will let you know on our Facebook page if this had worked. Using the same principle as with the fire starters you can build yourself a really handy torch. As you see right now, this torch is a real good light source, especially if you're outside and have no flash lamp with you. And you can also see that it's pretty windproof if it's burning. And the good thing is, if you don't need it anymore, you can put it out by putting it on the ground, putting it in the snow. And it will light up again because uh, there's still wax on the inside. As you can see, completely stormproof. It lights up every time again. And even when it gets wet, with the snow on it, it will not stop to burn. So also some standard safety matches can be really good in the survival situation. Unfortunately in Austria we don't get strike anywhere matches, but will prove the concept with the safety matches. Just dip it one or two times and let them dry. Once the wax and the matches are dry, they are completely waterproof. If you want to strike one of these, you just have to get off the wax. And now you can strike them again. And due to the wax on the stick, they will burn even longer and better. One of the most important things in a survival situation is to stay warm and dry. And if it's raining outside or in winter, this could be a very, very hard task. If you don't have a tent liner at hand or some kind of uh, fabric which is waterproof, you can take any kind of fabric like this here and make it waterproof so you can put it in your tent or put it in your shelter to keep out the rain. Just want to simulate the concept with this small piece of fabric here because I don't want to waste all of my wax storage. If you have enough wax and a big enough container, you can basically 
take a whole bed sheet and you will have the perfect liner for your shelter. And a really big advantage on things like this is that you can take pieces of your shelter as an emergency fire starter. Let it drip off a little bit. And just hang it so it straightens out again. As you can see right now, it gets really good stiffness and it also has an even wax layer over the entire surface. If you have this thing now as a tent liner or even as a hat or something, it will repel water really good and you will stay dry even in the harshest of conditions. So right now, after all of these experiments, I have a really big amount of wax on my fingers and I will use them to rust proof my knife by just rubbing it on. And especially for gear, rusting metal gear, you don't use very often. It's a really good way to rust proof them. So for example, when you have a bug out camp and have knives in it or axes or something like this, and you don't use them very often and just have it so in a bug out situation you can use them, you can rust proof all your gear with this oily wax substance and after it is on over the entire surface you can just take your blowtorch and get over it so you have a really thin and even layer over the entire knife. As you can see, really thin and even layer and with this it will not rust anymore. So that was it for today, hope you liked it and we'll also have an Instagram account now, so check it out, links in the description. Check us out on Facebook, give us a like on this video, leave us a comment and we'll see you in our next episode. And a little bonus, when you're in a survival situation and have prepared all of your wax stuff and wax gear, you can also use the hot wax to style up your beard. And if you ever wondered why my beard looks so fantastic, it's because of paraffin wax. Thanks and bye bye.